When UAB announced it was shutting down its football program in December 2014, many players and coaches moved on to different schools to continue pursuing their dreams. But first-year head coach Bill Clark stayed. I saw what what Birmingham could be, what UAB could be. I was trying to make a decision what my next move was going to be. And, you know, we kind of rode this roller coaster of, you know, is it back, is it not? My friends tell me that it was the most unusual start to an athletic director job in the country. In the midst of the uncertainty of the program's future, athletic director Mark Ingram started his job in May and immediately witnessed the immense support for the program from the community. It was clear that, that our public and our fans wanted it back. I think it, uh, in an unusual way maybe, took this happening for everyone to realize just how much we wanted it and how much we needed it. A month later, the university had reached a decision. As we said from the very beginning, football could only return if we could generate sustainable funding to cover the cost and build facilities that makes us competitive. Given the broad base of support never before seen, as of today, we are taking steps to reinstate the football, rifle, and bowling programs. Immediately, Coach Clark and Ingram got to work bringing Blazer football back to Birmingham. The number one goal is staying in the league staying at the FBS level and getting back on the field as quickly as possible. Over the past 10 months, Clark, his staff, and the athletic department have been juggling fundraising for a new football facility with recruiting almost an entirely new team. For us, it's, it's the chicken or egg. You know, do you get the players with the facilities or do you get the facilities and you get the players? And, and so we've been doing both. You know, nobody's ever done this and it's not a, a blueprint that's out there. There's certain parts of what we're doing that have been done before, but but not all of it together and all of it at once. Plans for a new football operations facility with locker rooms, weight rooms, and meeting rooms have been put in place. We'll actually this summer break ground on this facility, uh, you know, knocking on wood that, that, you know, they've told me we'll be in there by June of 17. And in addition to the 29 guys who have stayed from the 2014 team, the coaching staff has successfully been recruiting from the junior college and high school level. We had a great recruiting class. This past signing period, we intend to have another one. We've had great response from, from prospects around the state and around the country that are excited about what's happening and they feel the energy when they get here. Although the Blazers won't take the field for an official FBS game until fall 2017, they'll still keep very busy preparing to play games once again. We're going to have three scrimmages throughout the fall that we're going to try and make as game like as we can where you know, we're going, we hopefully, these 11 think they're ones and these 11, because that's how we're going to treat them. You know, it's kind of like 22 starters on offense and 22 on defense and let them go against each other with the band and the cheerleaders and, you know, make it as game-like as we can. And hopefully the next thing you know, we look up and it's Christmas time and here comes spring and we're getting ready to play. And when the team finally does take the field September 2nd, 2017, to play Alabama A&M, with the coach who has stood alongside the program through it all, it's, it's going to be special. It's, I mean, I, I, it's a national story. It's history. Uh, we talk a lot about making history. And, um, you know, I think that's going to be, a, it's going to be fun. You know, I mean, that was kind of like what spring was like, you know, to get back after a year. And this is what I've done for so long. It was, it was you know, kind of back in your element. So it's, um, you know, it's going to be a long time coming. So we'll be excited, no doubt.